wearing red lippy for the first time in literally like two years. I have like a love-hate relationship with red lippy because I feel like sometimes it goes all over my face and all of my teeth. But welcome to this vlog. This vlog is going to be about working on your days off. Today is my day off but I have picked up a shift. To be honest I never work on my days off like ever. This is the second time in like my whole career that I've ever picked up a shift on my day off but I'll explain more about why I picked this up and how it will benefit me <laughs> and also benefit my company. So I'll talk more about that when I get to my destination, but this is a three day trip. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath because I literally picked it up like almost two hours ago and I had nothing ready. So I had to like literally pack everything, do my hair and makeup. Today, I'm just doing one flight to the Gold Coast. Sign on is 7.50 PM. It's currently 6.30, so I'm gonna head to the airport. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Brie. I work as a flight attendant in Australia. Hope you enjoy this vlog. So I got to the airport early, so I got a burrito. And this is why I never wear red lippies, because I kiss all over my face. Do you guys know of any good red lippy that just doesn't move off your face? Let me know. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this and and then head to work. <laughs> just gotten into Gold Coast. You would have seen my room already but it's really beautiful. It's currently 11 p.m. I just did the one flight up here. It was a pretty crazy flight. We had really light loads. I'm working with great crew. Can't complain. <laughs> but I want to talk to you guys quickly about working days off and why I decided to work this day off. So basically the reason why I picked up this trip was to get out of the trip that I was meant to be doing tomorrow. <laughs> so tomorrow is meant to be starting at 5 a.m. doing three sectors to Sydney and then doing three sectors home the next day. Getting home around I think it was like 1 30 p.m. I wanted to get out of that trip because I'm not an early bird. <laughs> like I don't mind working early but 5 a.m.s are just a little bit too early. Like if I start at 5 that means I have to be up at like 3. I was basically like sitting on the couch at home <laughs> just on my phone doing nothing and I saw that they were looking for someone to do this trip and I called crew tracking and asked them a few more details about the trip and found out that it was just one flight up here tonight, three flights tomorrow and then one flight home. So it's a pretty like easy trip compared to like what I was going to be doing originally on my other trip and it's not early and it's late so it's fantastic me picking this up it totally works in my favor plus I get extra money <laughs> because I'm working a day off in my airline if you work a day off you get like an extra payment and stuff but yeah as I mentioned at the start of this vlog I don't work days off it's not my jam I kind of refuse to work days off to be honest because I usually use my days off to kind of recover from working <laughs> and I usually don't encourage it unless it works for you and it works works for your roster and your lifestyle. But as I said, this is my second ever time working a day off in my whole almost five years of working as a flight attendant. The last time I did this, aka my first time I ever worked a day off, was I worked a day off so that I could get Easter off. <laughs> Anyways, I'm still in my uniform. I've been chatting for like 20 minutes, so I'm gonna jump in the shower and head to bed. an hour before I need to start getting ready for work so I'm gonna go for a run I think I've started running again <laughs> if you're an OG watcher I used to go on runs every single layover just because I found it was like the best way to see the city that I was in and getting some exercise it kind of hit a few birds with one stone I've kind of started running a bit again not training for any marathons or anything like that but just adding more running into my workout routines and it's actually been really good let's go for a run along the beach Let's do this.
Can you see the color of my face? <laughs> oh my gosh, it always goes so red after I go for a run that mm. anyways the run was really good i wish that i could literally every day just wake up out of bed roll out of bed and just go for like a walk or run by the beach like that was just so soothing i'm pretty sure there's like some science behind seeing water every day like it really helps with your mental health like depression and stuff like that mm. only problem i had was my flipping earbuds because um it was so hot these just kept like falling out of my ears so if you guys know of any good earphones that stay on your ears when you go for runs and stuff please let me know because i'm definitely in the market for some because these just keep falling out of my ears like every two seconds i'm like pushing them back in and then one actually fell out on the sand and like got sandal in it so not ideal <laughs> Today we're flying three flights. We're flying from Gold Coast to Adelaide and then we're doing a Canberra return out of Adelaide. I've never actually flown these routes in a very long time so I don't know what the flight time is going to be. And then we have a layover in Adelaide tonight. It's currently 12.20 so we arrive into Adelaide pretty late tonight and then we have the morning in Adelaide. Hopefully I'll be able to do some things in the morning and just explore Adelaide a bit. I feel like I haven't been to Adelaide in a long time. Yeah, I'm really excited for today. I might even make a protein shake before I head down actually because I need to eat something. <laughs> Last time I had this protein shake some of you mentioned to make a funnel to like funnel it into my thing and I think that might actually work really well. It's working. So that worked really well so thank you to those people that commented and mentioned for me to try that. I'm gonna head downstairs now and I'll see you guys in Adelaide. So I've just arrived into my hotel room in Adelaide. This is my room. To be honest, I don't think I've ever stayed in a hotel room where the bed is so close to the front door, but I have a really nice big bathroom, which we love. <laughs> it's currently 10.17 and we're out at like 10.20 a.m. tomorrow morning. We have about 12 hours here. I don't think I'm gonna do anything with the crew. They don't seem like they are wanting to do anything. So that's okay. I love spending time with myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I mention that it's actually Valentine's Day today, which is kind of sad <laughs> because I'm like in a hotel room by myself <laughs> on Valentine's Day. I was originally going to be in Sydney and Brayden was going to come with me, but because I'm here in Adelaide, um, it didn't make sense for him to come because I'm only here for like a limited time and the flights that he would have flown would have come in at different times and stuff. Whereas the Sydney flights, I was flying like directly from Melbourne to Sydney and then staying there. And then the first flight out the next day was from Sydney to Melbourne so it would have made a lot more sense but anyways it is what it is this is just my life <laughs> sometimes my work just makes me miss out on special occasions and stuff happy valentine's to everyone <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna get out of my uniform have a shower get into bed oh wow that's a really nice view of Adelaide oh wow just on my way to the buffet breakfast because as crew we get 50% off the buffet breakfast which is absolutely awesome so it comes down to only costing $16 and I'm actually super hungry this morning so I'm gonna eat as much as I can <laughs> and then it's a really nice day out I might step outside for a little bit and go for a little walk but I had such a good sleep and excited to go eat
so I just got back in my room. Breakfast was really good. Would recommend. Also just went for a walk this morning. Adelaide is so beautiful in the morning. <laughs> it's so nice. I wish I could have gone for a longer walk and stuff and just explored a bit more but it's meant to be like over 30 degrees today. I was literally in shorts and a little t-shirt and I was feeling hot. <laughs> I'm reading this book right now where it talks about power poses and stuff. The way you present yourself affects the way you feel inside and thus affects how you act and think and do and that in turn affects the outcome of your goals and desires and dreams. <laughs> Basically you're meant to like hold a power pose for a couple of minutes and it's meant to like help you feel better inside. So I'm going to be testing this out for the next week or so and see if it actually does help. Let me know if you guys ever do power poses or anything like that. The book also talks about smiling and how that increases your endorphins and makes you feel better and the thought is that even if you don't feel like smiling you just like force yourself to smile even like faking a smile fakes your body into creating endorphins and stuff so I don't know maybe if you're feeling low just fake a smile and see if it helps you <laughs> yeah these are two things that I'm going to be testing out probably in the next couple of weeks or so and see if it works I don't know is it a bit woo woo but I don't know I'm like Kind of into that kind of stuff. I'm gonna do a power pose and smile. My hair is so greasy, but that's what makes it stay in place. Kind of kicking myself because I forgot that this hotel has a sauna and I love saunas but I just totally forgot if I remembered I definitely would have had one last night because that would have been just perfect to wind down before bed this lipstick is 575 Maybelline matte lipstick really nice really nice color it's a bit darker than I usually do but I think I like it much better than the red that I had on at the start of this vlog that just like did not last I ate my burrito from Guzman and Gomez and it just all came off all over my mouth also I'll show you the book that I was talking about this is the one it's good vibes good life how self-love is key to unlocking your greatness by Vex King I've literally read that much already and it's such an easy read and it's so good I'm like really enjoying it would recommend and it talks all about how to get into a high vibe and like how you can do practical things every day to help you like achieve your goals and dreams and stuff like that so if you're into like self-help and manifestation and general self-development I would definitely recommend it today I'm flying one flight back home from Adelaide to Melbourne the rest of my crew are continuing on I think they're doing like a Sydney return after they get back to Melbourne but I have an airport standby at 6 a.m. tomorrow so if they did make me continue this trip I wouldn't be able to do that airport standby because we will finish too late and I won't get enough rest etc etc. I think Braden and I are going to do something tonight for Valentine's Day. I think we might be going to see a movie or going out for dinner or something nice. So and speaking of Valentine's Day I forgot to mention it was so cute. Yesterday my company handed out these little love hearts to every single passenger that was on our flights which is such a cute little thing. All of the passengers got a little love heart chockey. How cute is that? And we even got them as well. It's the little things that count right <laughs> i get back into melbourne around 1 30 so i'll see you guys then <laughs> when i get home step into the weekend i'm stuck inside the sequence it's like keeping it a secret it's all i do yeah, yeah. It's okay. so i'm back home and my car is like a literal sauna so I didn't need to go to the sauna at all when I was in Adelaide because I'm sweating so much I don't know if you can see the sweat from my face but yeah it's like 30 degrees today so it's a hot one tomorrow I start a span of two days on call so I might film that if I get used on anything we'll see anyways I'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye